eighth graders, good morning. It's day one of our new distance learning for the next five weeks. I hope everybody is staying safe, practicing good social distancing, everybody's well. Wash those hands. I've left packets up at the school for everybody. Um, got instructions and your worksheets in it. You can also find those worksheets on this website. You just need to read the passage and then answer the questions on the worksheets. Uh, the purpose of this video right now is to read this aloud to those that need to be read to. So the, we're going to read the story and answer questions about the facts in this story. For week one, we're concentrating on finding facts. And remember, a fact is something that you know is true because you read it in the passage. Therefore, it makes it a fact. Okay? So the title of this passage is called Scarecrows Then and Now. Birds have always been a problem for farmers. They like to eat the seeds in farmers' fields. As soon as a farmer plants seeds, the birds arrive for dinner. Often, these birds are crows. Farmers try to get rid of their unwanted vi visitors by making scarecrows. A scarecrow is supposed to scare away crows and other birds. The first scarecrows were made hundreds of years ago. They were sticks stuck in the ground with big rags tied to the top. When the wind blew, the rags flapped and frightened the birds. As time went on, farmers began making better scarecrows. They nailed a second stick across the top of the one in the ground. Now the scarecrows had arms and could wear old shirts. When farmers stuffed the shirts with straw, the scarecrows began to look like real people. Some even had faces. Question one, birds like to eat A, fields, B, C, Number two, a scarecrow is supposed to scare away A, gardens, B, seeds, C, birds, or D, sticks. Number three, the first scarecrows were made from sticks and A, rags, B, plants, C, rugs, or D, hats. Number four, later, farmers filled scarecrows with a, cotton, B, plants, C, rugs, or D, hats. Number four, later, farmers filled scarecrows with, oh, I already read that, didn't I? Number five, scarecrows flapped because of the A, arms, B, noise, C, birds, or D, wind. Second page. When farmers began using modern machines, they didn't need scarecrows anymore. The new farm machines were big and made lots of noise. They scared the birds away quite well. In the 1960s, people became interested in folk art such as scarecrows. Suddenly, scarecrows were popular again. People wanted them for their yards and vegetable gardens. Even people in cities bought scarecrows for their porches. Today, some artists make scarecrows to sell. They use natural materials such as sticks and straw for the bodies. However, these new scarecrows are often dressed in fancy clothes. Some wear sunglasses, belts, or scarves. Some scarecrows may have beads, flowers, and purses. Question six. People don't need scarecrows because they had A, clothes, B, machines, C, workers, or D, crows. Number seven, in the 1960s, people thought that scarecrows were A, folk art, B, sunglasses, C, farm workers, or D, far, fine art. Number eight, people put scarecrows on porches and in a, machines, B, cities, C, yards, or D, parks. Number nine, 
Today, some artists make scarecrows A, sail, B, beads, C, sail, S-A-I-L, like a sailboat, or D, parks. Number nine. Today, some, number 10. Scarecrows sometimes have beads, flowers, and A, tides, ties, B, shoes, C, pins, or D, purses. And that's it for week one. I'll post another message next week for week two and read those passages to you. I encourage each of you to please contact me if you need any help or just need to talk because I would love to see each of your faces. My email is smccoy at wpsok.org. You can contact me there. I'll be happy to set up a Zoom meeting with you so we can talk face-to-face -face or FaceTime or whatever you want to do. Just please keep in contact with me. I really miss you guys. Stay safe, keep washing those hands, and I'll see you soon.